Hey, hello, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. Today what I want to do is show you how you can use uh, Lightwave native procedurals with Octane. So I've got this Octane basic universal material here and if we go over to the Octane nodes, let's say for instance I go to procedurals and let's just choose uh, marble and all I'm going to do is simply plug the texture into the bump like so and then we've got the actual bump on there and you've got a few others here that you can use but let's say we wanted to use all these native 2d and 3d textures so you can't actually plug them in they, 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 or you can plug them in but they're not they're not going to work they're not going to do anything so how do we do that so what we need to do is under the Octane drop down, if you go down to textures, double click Octane textures images, and then let's plug this texture into the bump. And then we're going to the actual node I've got here, the color, we're going to put into procedural, like so. And you can see it's coming through. We'll also, uh, what we'll also do is we'll go onto utilities under Octane and we'll get the projection because this is UV and we'll just plug this into the projection like so and then what we've got is the native light wave here that we're using and we can make it a bit smaller if we wish like so and then we can play with the, the like the set you can play with the uh, the settings and so on and like start playing around with them as you normally would and start adding them in uh, obviously let's make the bottom background white so foreground white so it's stronger and uh, also under the actual octane texture image you can also increase the power under here as well if you if if you want so that's an easy way of kind of using it in there so if we just get if i just remove that let's just get the turbulence and we'll do the same plug the turbulence in make it a bit smaller so we can see it here like so and again you can come in here and uh, play around with the settings and start manipulating it like so so something else you could do as well let's just uh, select both these and let's just uh, duplicate it so it's duplicated it and it's also made we're duplicating it making sure the octane projections in it so we've got the same projection let's go back over to the uh, octanes and under displacement let's add a displacement and so what i'm doing now is i'm still using the light wave native through the octane texture image but this time i'm adding uh, the displacement to it so we can double click displacement it's default to one mil so let's just put like a hundred mil in maybe and then you can see that the actual displacement is working as well so yeah it's simple as that so if you want to use the lightwave built-in procedurals here we just need to make sure they're plugged in to the project the procedural on the octane texture image and then you can plug it in and again you can let's just duplicate it again and again, you could start and plug this into other other bits of uh, sorry, other little bits of the actual Octane Universal main materials by plugging it in and again going in and experimenting with the the different sections and stuff like so. So you get some really cool uh, materials. Uh, yeah, and it's as simple as that. It's just uh, I've, quite a few people. Uh, didn't realize you could do this i mean i'll, I'll thank simon smalley because he i didn't know you could do it till he's shown me so i just think it's really cool that you can just use all these uh, native procedurals with octane and that's it easy as that thanks for listening